Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Yasser from DCDC Kidney Care. Uh, today's topic is blood transfusion. Uh, first of all, we have to understand why anemia is associated with CKD patients. So, uh, as you all know that the most important uh, function of kidney is to produce an, a hormone that is erythropoietin. So that the kidney is not working, so that erythropoietin is not present in the body, so the uh, RBC uh, levels are decreased. So we have a different different options to treat this problem. First option is to give the erythropoietin injection twice a week or thrice a week as per the nef nephrologist's advice. Second, we can give an injection of iron uh, within 10 days or depend on the iron profile of the patient. The third option is to do a blood transfusion. Always remember that the blood transfusion is our last option if the if a patient uh, HB is not improving with erythropoietin injection and iron injection then we go for the blood transfusion. Now we have to remember some general instructions uh, for doing a blood transfusion. Always we have to uh, we have to be uh, ready with the doctor's prescriptions or a DMO prescription for blood transfusion and at the time of blood form filling you have to fill all the information very correctly proper name of the patient age sex proper diagnose and what is the reason of blood transfusion blood component which is required for the transfusion uhid of the patient blood group doctor stem and doctor name and with the blood form you have to give a fresh sample in both the vials that is EDTA and in brain. CKD patients we always prefer to use PRBC component and we have to add 150 to 250 ml in our UF gold. Not having PRBC in that case we can go for whole blood but whole blood can be a risk uh, of uh, hyperkalemia and fluid overload. Now it's time to start our blood transfusion and uh, before blood transfusion always remember you have to take consent for blood transfusion from the patient or attendant and prior to the administration of the blood one technician and one physician should check the blood what we get from the blood bank you have to check the receipt the, and the label on the blood bag and verify all the patient detail again after checking the blood uh, you have to start the blood at the rate of 5 to 10 ml per minute and then you have to stop the blood for some 5 to 15 minutes to detect any complication as earliest as possible. If there is no complication, you can start the blood at the same rate and watch the complication throughout the procedure. In case of any complication, first of all you have to stop the blood transfusion and report your physician or nephrologist and you can give the injection AVIL 2 ml IV straight and you can give the injection f colin 100 mg IV straight. Now it's time to have some take home messages. Always consult your nephrologist or physician before blood transfusion. Always remember that the blood transfusion is our last option. Fill blood form very properly with doctor's stem and name. And always start blood with very slow rate to judge any complication as early as possible. Uh, if you have any doubt and queries, uh, DCDC clinical team is always there to help you. You can contact us anytime. Thank you so much.